Hi, it's Dr. Janowski for Sonata Aesthetics. Today we're going to do a lip enhancement using what I call the micro droplet technique. It's a technique where we use a very small, very short needle and it's less traumatic, easier for the patient. And we have a lot of control, so we make a lot of tiny little pokes. Uh, bruising can happen, but it's not common, and usually if it does occur, it's quite mild, and patients generally don't complain about it. And there's also not a lot of swelling uh, with the, the products that we use. I like Restylane Define, but there are uh, these many different products in the lip. We use Restylane, Restylane Lip. They're all, they're all good for um, lip enhancement. Um, and they all have relatively low amounts of uh, swelling. So, um, in this case, you know, she already has a really nice border, a well-defined lip, a good ratio, and a good shape. So we're really just going to add a little bit of volume. There's not a lot of shaping to be done. And so I'll show you how I use the micro droplet technique in just a second. You've done lips too, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, so I'll show you the micro droplet technique. I always give patients the vibration tool to hold. It's very helpful. It does distract from pain. It uh, distracts the brain away from the pain signals with vibration signals. So I always give them the opportunity to use that if they want. And then slightly open mouth. So we will also use some numbing cream. That helps a lot. And that works pretty fast. So again, what I do is very quick entry with a very short insulin needle. And we've preloaded these needles with the product. And also using a technique by, whereby we are moving the tissue towards the needle. So the patient really doesn't even feel the needle going in because it just goes so fast. So one of the keys to a painless injection is rapid movement through the dermis and also these distraction techniques with the left hand where we're, we're simply moving the tissue towards the needle. And I'm using my left hand to do that. So it makes it quite easy. In, this, in the bottom, I like to go from outside the vermilion toward the vermilion here, like this. Good, she's doing great. And we're going to do kind of a light treatment. She doesn't need a lot of volume. If we go up in the GK point right here, it's a little more tender, but we get a little more definition that way of that Cupid's bow. And again, she has a nice ratio with a nice full bottom lip so we don't need a lot. We don't need to change the ratio because it should be a little bigger than the top. Open just a bit here. Good. We'll do just a little bit more and that's probably all she needs. We know this will settle so we want it a little bit bigger than what we want for a final result because it will come down. We want to look for asymmetries and an even distribution here. We're almost there. We're using our left hand technique there. Okay, let's get a wet one. And so that's that's it. That just took a few minutes there. Open just a bit. I don't see any any bruises right now and almost no bleeding, so. It's just a slight enhancement of her own natural shape, which is a very nice shape. Thank you. All right. Let's do a little arnica, and then you'll be done. I tell patients, don't, um, don't do a lot of rubbing. If you rub the area, you can swell it. Ice tends to swell it because of the pressure. So just leave it alone. Use arnica if you want. And that's all there is to it. So that's a quick and easy lip enhancement using the micro droplet technique. You look good. All right, good. Thank you. All right.